Shout out to the WTC game. We the chosen ones, baby. It ain't over yet. Until God says it's over. It ain't over. Until God says it's done. Keep fighting. Until your victory is won. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. God never said that it was going to be easy. God never said that we wouldn't fail. But I'm here to tell you right now, if you believe in the impossible, if you believe in God's change to work a miracle, to perform a big miracle for you, just know that it ain't over. What it seemed like all the odds are, are, are coming against us, chosen ones. We have to keep that song in our head that says, it ain't over until God says it's over. It ain't over until God says it's done. We've been made endure for a night, but we already know that joy is going to come in the morning. Keep fighting. Keep praying. Keep fasting. Keep believing. Keep progressing. Keep intervening. Amen. Keep touching and agreeing with people. Because the Bible says when there are two or three or more that are gathered in his name, there Jesus will be in the midst. You got to know what you're up against. And I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones, no matter what the circumstances may be, no matter what situation that you are facing today, just know that it ain't over. The same people that wrote us off, chosen ones, guess what? They thought our life was over with. They thought that your career was done. They thought your vision was done. But God stepped in and told your haters. God stepped in and told your enemies that, guess what? Hey, it ain't over until I says it's over. Because the same people that betrayed you, guess what? They said it was over for you. <laughs> the same people that, that lied on your name, that talked about you, guess what they said? They said it was over for you. But I'm here to tell you right now, I believe a God who sits high and I believe a God who looks low. Don't you tell me what my God won't do because I know exactly what he will do. God will really perform miracles. But you got to believe. He said, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, I will intervene on your behalf. Come on now, don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, Lord, I believe that you're going to work out my, my situation for my good. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, Lord, I know that it ain't over until you say it's over. Lord, I know it's not over until you say it's done. God, he's, he's pretty much telling you right now that you have so much left in the tank. Keep fighting. Don't let your enemies get the best of you. Keep praying. Don't let your fake family members get the best of you. Keep on believing. When people say that you can't do it, guess what? God said you can do all things through Christ, which gave you the strength. Understand what I'm saying? When people wrote you off and didn't believe in your dreams and your vision, they didn't believe you was going to graduate school, they didn't believe you were going to get your doctor's degree, they didn't believe you were going to get your master's degree, and look what God did. He made sure that he kept his guardian angels around you, doing when you were studying up in them dorms, doing when you was in college, trying to get your study on, because the Bible says study to show thyself approved. You have to cut everybody off to get this, to pass this bar exam. You have to cut everybody off. To get this doctor's degree. You have to cut everybody off. Because elevation requires separation. So hold your head up high. And just know that you're going to win in this season. It ain't over. Until God says it's over. It ain't over. Until God says it's done. You got to stand on your word. You got to believe in a higher power. You got to know that God will make a way where there seems to be no way. I'm telling you right now, if you believe in the impossible, I don't know about you, but I believe in the impossible. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, God can do the impossible. God is the one who created the heavens and the earth. God knows your situation before you even get in your situation. Hold your head up high. You're going to win. Dry them weeping eyes. Because I'm telling you right now, joy going to come in the morning. This ain't nothing but a test that we're going through, chosen ones. That's why we're going through this spiritual warfare. 
That's why you're going through spiritual warfare at your job. They don't like you. They're not trying to give you a raise. You know why? Because you keep fighting. You keep praying. You just keep on fasting. You just keep on believing. And you just keep winning. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I just keep winning. Every time I turn around, I just keep on winning. You undefeated. Why would you throw in a towel right now? You don't move a different uh, weight division. Understand what I'm saying? Why would you stay in the same weight division and God trying to elevate you in a total different weight division? You're in the major leagues right now. You're not in the minor leagues anymore. You have to understand that the devil going to always be on his job chosen ones. The devil going to always be on duty. But guess what? We, we got to be on duty too. We got to keep battling. This is a race. This is nothing to be played with. Each and every chance you get, get on your bended knees and give God the glory. Give God the praise. God just wants you to worship him in spirit and in truth. God just wants you to do right so he can perform the miracle. God just want to get, get some of these blessing blockers out of your life so he can perform the miracle. The only reason why you ain't got to that next level because you got too many people in your ear. You got too many people in your life that's draining you from your energy. That's got plots and plans against your destiny. You got too many people that's jealous, even that's hatred, that has hatred towards you. You need to get from around these people, chosen ones, because your life ain't over. It ain't over until God says it's done. This battle that we are facing every single day is not over. Have you noticed every time you try to do something good, every time you get to that next level, you got to face a bigger devil. I'm tired of the devil. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of him. Every time you turn around, you got to go, you got to fight or face some spiritual warfare. You got to, you got to go against some demonic spirit. This is spiritual warfare out here. That's why the Bible says, put on the whole arm of God that we can withstand the fiery darts coming from the devil himself. We got to be girded with the truth. We got to be shielded up. We got to be protected up. We got to be pleading the blood of Jesus every single where we go. Understand what I'm saying? God is getting ready to do a new thing in the WTC family life. We don't got no time to be playing. Understand what I'm saying? You are going to win in this season, chosen ones. Keep fighting. Keep fasting. Keep on believing in this season. Because it's not over. No matter what the situation may look like, no matter what the circumstances may feel like, you have a victory that needs to be won. No matter who said what about you, no matter who turned their back against you, just know that God will never leave you, no, he will forsake you. And if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we wouldn't even be here today telling of his goodness. If it had not been for God and his angels stepping in to protect us and to keep us from all these Decepticons, I'm telling you right now, we would not be able to keep fighting if it wasn't for the Lord and his protection. Don't forget that this is a race. It's not going to be given to the swift. It's not going to be given to the strong. But it's going to be given to one who endures to the end. It's a lot of people that are committing suicide right now. Do not do that. I know he said it wasn't going to be easy. If it would be easy, life wouldn't even be worth living. I don't know about you, but I like a challenge. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get to where God needs me to get to. Understand what I'm saying? I ain't going to let no devil in hell stop me from getting me, from, from getting me to my destiny. I'm not going to let no devil or no Decepticon or no negative spirit stop me. From getting to my destiny. From getting my breakthrough. Because I believe in the possible. I believe that God going to perform miracles. I believe that God going to turn things around in my favor. I know that I know that I know that God is going to make a way. Keep fighting. Until your victory is won. Just remember that God cares. 
Just remember that God, he would never leave you out here hanging like that. Just remember God, he going to make sure you win. God said, you take that first step and I'm going to take that next step. God said, if you love your enemies, if you love those that despitefully use you, I'm going to continue to bless you. I'm going to continue to exalt your name. Your name going to be spoken into high places. Let me tell you something. God said, vengeance shall be mine. Leave everything unto God. This is a season of elevation. We ain't got to hold no grudges against people. We ain't got to have no ill will towards people. I don't let everything go. I don't let everything go. I don't let everything go out of my life because I know I want God to perform a miracle for me. I want God to do some, some great and mighty things in my life. In order for God to move in my life, I got to learn how to let go and let God. I got to learn how to forgive and forget. A lot of people wonder why they're not getting that miracle. A lot of people wonder why they ain't getting that breakthrough because they still holding grudges. They still have a resentment towards other people that did them wrong. We got to learn how to let it go now. It is what it is. You did what you did. Hey, I, I forgive you. I love you. I'm praying for you. But I got to love you from a distance because you know what? It ain't over. Even though your fake family members counted you out, put this in the comments below and tell your fake family members and say, it ain't over. Even though your fake friends, your so-called friends, they said they was going to support you to the very end. And as soon as you start doing better than them, they true colors starting to come out. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, it ain't over. Until God says it's over. It ain't over until God says it's done. No, 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 yeah. Until God said it's over, keep fighting until your victory is won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never said it would be easy. Just like the song. He never said we wouldn't fail. You must believe it. He never said it wouldn't be easy. You better believe you always prevail. But the impossible is God's change to work a miracle, a miracle. So just know it ain't over, yeah. Until God says it's over, hey. it ain't over, yeah. Until God said it's done, no, 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 no. Don't get me started. Keep fighting until your victory is won. You can make it. You got to keep fasting. You got to keep believing. You got to keep praying. Get on your bended knees and say, Lord, I know you're going to make a way. Lord, I know I'm going through a rough stage in my life. But I know you're going to provide for me. Lord, I know that there is a will, there is a way. God always got a ram in the bush for you. Don't you throw in that towel. Keep fighting. Keep fasting and keep praying and keep believing until your victory is won. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.